want to ask you about how the director change affected your editing and there's obviously the the viral video of the oh uh, yeah the patio well, i would scene. love to talk about that <laughs> yeah. one um but in like, fact i went to fox the other day okay and had them fire up the avid and all the media because i wanted that scene the way i'd originally cut it huh so someday i'm gonna do a fucking dissertation and show here's how i cut it originally and then here's what happens when too many Cooks get in the kitchen and are so paranoid the, about pace. The edit so. in the film is not yours. No, it's mine. But I mean, it was mine after uh. tremendous amount of notes and, and pressure to cut down, cut down, cut down. Here's what happened. Basically, what happened. Um, what was the first part of the question? Because we're like focusing on this already. Oh, just just <laughs> when you, when you're editing and the director oh, oh, changes. Yeah. No, you, see, that's was there a reshoot. That's and, a misconception about about that particular scene being affected because of uh, changing directors. Um, that all all get all misquoted. The um, the original scene where they meet John Reed was done uh, in a studio because um, the story was one way. Uh, we I flipped around the concerts. So the Japan concert and the tour of USA used to be in a different order. Hmm. So when they met John Reed, um, all the dialogue didn't make any sense. And so we had to reshoot that scene. That's the only reason. Wow. And we thought, well, let's go outside for a change. So we shot it at a pub. Um, and so it was a whole new scene. But it, so, so the editing that scene, nothing to do with a new director. Um, what happened was, is is typical in films, um, the studios are usually just petrified of getting through the first act. We've got to get through everything really fast, you know. And so, um, and yet this film, every single test screening, the uh, audience was, was, was wanting more. That was their notes across the board. We want more, we want more, we want more. So we actually did... I had this idea of him sitting at a bus stop, so we shot that. Um, and I, I, I said that, you know, there needs to be a bump in the road for the band, the classic thing where, oh, shucks, we're, we, we're not, we're on this high, and then we're not going to make it, and then they make it. That's, mm-hmm. you know, you have to do that. So we shot the scene of the band breaking, breaking down. That's, that's their dip in the road, literally. I mean, right. but th- that, it was so brief, you know, I wanted it to be protracted. But having said so, so we did. So we shot those new things, but because they were new things, now there was this paranoia that the first act was getting too long. Basically, so the idea was let's just make let's just blow through meeting John Reed and make it almost like a montage, you know. So I took the original version that I cut and all the nuggets and cool things in it we wanted to preserve. You know, Graham and and his producing partner Dennis O'Sullivan were like, we want to maintain what the scene was. So I kept hacking it down, hacking it down faster, 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 cut, cut things out of it. But, you know, if there's a look or something, you want to keep it in there. So what happens is by trying to keep all the old stuff in, but having the scene be half the length, it made it too fast. And um, uh, at the 11th hour, I went back and I fattened up the van scene and um, some stuff at the bus stop so, I, so we, it could breathe a little more. But I never got to that. I myself just was not seeing it as it, as Mm. it was so fast. Um, but what killed me about the focus on this one scene (laughs) is there is another 110 minutes or whatever of, of movie there, you know, I'm going to pat myself on the back for show them your Oscar. It's like, you know, and it's like, and I'm not, I sound defensive, but you know, I was nominated by my peers that who take editing very seriously and they know, uh, what I was doing there, you know. Anyway, but um, but wasn't that whole kerfuffle about the scene one dude online? Who yeah, did that who thing? gives this like very intelligent sounding uh, dissertation, and, and, and his <laughs> voice is very authoritative, and it sounds like he is the editing authority on the, the universe, what you know. And it's like I'm like you know, and but the most depressing thing is like five hundred thousand people watch that freaking video, you know. Um, so oh, some the world gonna, of the internet. I'm gonna do my own video. Please do, even though I don't want to uncover this thing. All the, though, it, it's like one way to let it go, you know. But um, it it upsets me because I think we're very instructive to people who who fell for the the brilliance of his of his analysis to show them no, this is the way this the scene was, and here's what happens on a film, you know. Um, but um, and I and I, I won't not blame. I mean, I won't take the blame completely away from myself because I should have gone back into that scene and put my foot down and like I did on throughout that film. Um, many places I could tell you the wars that happened on every scene of that film. There was a war, of course, there always is, and defending it, and defending, and defending it, and keeping it, and keeping the integrity of that scene, and keeping it uh, not artificially sped up. And that was the one I missed. I think the irony of all of it is. I'm going to say as somebody who's seen, I'm going to say a billion movies, maybe two billion <laughs> movies, both professionally and I didn't even know there was an issue. I, yeah, same. you know, the funny thing is, is when you're in a theater, 
You don't notice it. Not at all. But when I showed it to my friends in my little screening room here, I was like, holy fuck. It's an amazing. It's a different experience in a theater, as you know. And uh, and um, for some reason, it, you just are so sucked into it in the yeah, theater. You don't course. notice that um, that rapid fire thing. Um, but I, I'm also going to say one thing as well. It, film editors, a good film editor... It's not just about the, the the snazzy shit they're doing in the movie. A film editor's job is to step back the macro view of a film, of course, and tell the story. That's a huge. That, that's their main task. And so, a lot of people don't give that credit for shaping the life of a person in two hours, yeah, yeah. and trying to make those decisions. And because you know, the film could have been four hours long, you know. And so, making those painful decisions, how to keep it emotional, was my was my my bottom line was. The film has to be emotional. That's it. That's you know. I think the answer to whoever that dude is who posted the thing, a billion dollars. Uh, how bad could this scene have been, or how important was it? <laughs> well, it might have been. in his defense, there are some pretty bad films that make a billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a point.